Josh Merrill show is hot. Hello. Hi, Jerry. This is for Jerry Lambert. Um, it's not quite the song you wanted. We had a little technical difficulty, but it is Helix. It's um, Give Me Some Good Loving. Randy's seen, you seen it? I'm very familiar with this band. Love, very it. familiar. No, said he hadn't seen it. I've seen it. I don't know, not a lot, but I've seen it a couple times. I see girls in bikinis already, so yeah, it's, swimsuits. It's definitely got a lot of women in it. It's typical '80s. '80s hair, hairspray. Yeah. <laughs> this one's for you, Jerry. Sorry about to know someone to love, but maybe next time. All right, let's give it a spin, guys. All right. As soon as we get this down here. Yes, they do. He looks like Gene Okerlund. He does. Yeah, he does. He looks like an Italian Gene Okerlund. Mean <laughs> Gene. Tell me how wonderful it is to be back here this year. All the girls are such fun and such wonderful friends. Yeah, dude. <laughs> We're going back at a time, man. Yeah, Let's I get the padded that. shoulders and the the crimped bangs. Oh man, look at them sluts. I love it. Look at them sunglasses. Oh yeah. Perfection. <laughs> she wanted to be blondie. Boy, I said been a while since I've seen this. You don't want to blow the mic up. Play and sink, play and sink. Nobody gets their teeth knocked out. Yeah, if you want to know what um, full fledged 80s videos are about, you need to watch this. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like the lead singer from Accepted said <clears throat> you got to play and sink because if not, you get a, a guitar to the mouth. That was one of his tributes to metal, I guess. Oh, breaking balls. Yeah, that's just, this stuff I love, man. man. It makes my skin crawl a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta remember your sub, so you didn't know what you was coming yeah. up to. You didn't really, you couldn't bail out. And I guess strength, strength's getting you back from making you watch that. That kiss. Hey, I didn't. <laughs> this is your. This is your show, man. I just. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't make him watch it. Do you have this, Randy? I've got a best of them burned out in the car. I'm mm -hmm. sure. That, yeah, I'm sure that this is on it. I haven't really played this song a lot by them, but I. I am familiar with it. I remember this and Give Me an R. Oh, me that was the first song I ever heard. Wild in the Streets, Dream On, Cuts Like a Knife. Deep but, Cuts the Knife. Not that Brian Adams crap. Deep Cuts the Knife. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching one of them rockumentaries and. Yeah, he's a mad rapist now. You believe that? You heard that? He's back in the news. No, it's Brian not Adams. It's not him. Ryan Adams. Ryan Adams. Uh, so they ain't the Canadian guy. Thank God. So I heard that the other day. So he's he is a performer, but it's me. Yeah, I, when I first heard that, like, what it's like reckless brown ass, but it's Ryan Adams. Yeah, it's like I forget. I heard about the other day. These guys, they all had the same tailor, like Motley Crue, Rat, and you can tell like they all they all went to the same fashion designer because yeah. they're all the same outfits. They just all have a little bit of. Different audiences to them, you know. Well, Gene's liking it. No mean Gene. Mean Gene's like forward roll. Oh, there we go. David Lee Roth, it man. David Lee Roth. Have you seen him recently? Uh, yeah. If I can't roll like that, uh, David ain't looking too healthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was a sunset strip. Still respecting though. Yeah, boy, this is. 80s to the T. If y'all want to know what, if you didn't go experience the 80s and you was wondering what it's like, this is probably a prime example of 80s videos. Who we? <laughs>
Oh, that's how the guitar player had the little studs up on his uh I on his strap. Man, he thinks that it wasn't the song Jerry wanted, but <laughs> sorry, Jerry. What did he want anyway? Someone to love. Okay. And I had it. It's on. It's on that one. The actual camera part is where it is. I got it downloaded. I just didn't transfer it to the laptop. So maybe next time. But we got we got some for you. We got you a little bit of um. That's your little bit of helix in there for you. Give me some good love and every night. Are you going to listen to some Helix? No. Probably never listen to <laughs> no. them again, will you? It'll be like a DM Kiss song. We'll say something and I'll be like, Give me some good love and so like a world without heroes. <laughs> I can't go big, without saying it. Was you a big Helix fan, Randy? I liked him. I liked to uh, walk on the razor's edge. <clears throat> I like that. And then, Kids are all shaking in the USA and dream on wild in the streets. <clears throat> They're pretty good. Cause I don't know. They were a typical party band too. You can tell. Yeah, I don't really know a whole lot about. It. Like I said, I know. they were Canadian, so hey. supposedly. They must have had. Seemed like I bar. I think stuff they're on. still around. Darren Dove must have. They must have played a lot of their stuff on Night Flight. Yeah. Cause Darren Dove <clears throat> seemed like he had a lot of their videos. Either that, or maybe Darren was. <laughs> Maybe flight. Darren was a huge Helix fan. I, I remember him really fond. I remember Lambert's talk about Helix. Yeah, Rock You. Yeah, uh, I mean I like everybody. That. Yeah, everybody knew that Rock You song where they're out there Even busting they. the blocks. But I kind of put them in the same category as Crocus. They got mm. some good stuff, but they just never got over the edge. Over there the was there was a band. Wow, Crocus. What Crocus? They had some good stuff. The strange thing I heard about them, their singer was offered the job when Bon Scott died and he declined. What a dumbass. <laughs> well, you know, in a way, though. I mean, that was we better for... We probably never got the ACDC. Yeah, that was that better for us, up. but financially for him, I, I don't know what to think. But then again, you got to look at it. it would have been as successful if he would have well, been the I mean, singer. Probably it's not. Kind of like we talk about John Bush. Yeah. You know, Metallica wanted him. And yeah. he wouldn't leave Armour Saint. Would it? What would it have been? You know, with that whole genre might not even happen. Yeah. Because Metallica, I mean, they led that whole thing through there. But um, it's proud to get back on Helix. I don't really, <laughs> really <laughs> ramblings. Really, really ain't much to say about Helix because I don't know a whole lot of history about Helix. I mean, you said they're still guess still. I heard stuff. they were. Because when I worked at the record store, I, I had a lot of their vinyl. I had Walk in the Razors. That was one everybody had. And Wild in the Streets was a follow-up to it. And that album cover will blind you. It was just a claw, a brick wall with just real, real bright red. I mean, I could see that coming in the next Wild stage. Wild in the Streets, running, yeah, I don't running. Know. I, they, the were, they were all right. Running, I, I, running. I, I liked them. Kids are all, like I said, I, I remember them very well. All right, well, I guess we're going to wrap up the helix. All the new short and sweet. Hey, point. Comments down here. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Do some history on them yeah. and put it in the comments even so we can learn. If, even if you like her outfits, can't see much of them, but, <laughs> you know, even, even comment. The battle coats. Or if we get on your nerves or something you'd like to see us do. I don't know, kind of limit on what we'll probably do, but. We'll do what we can. I'll shoot a song. We're always up for that. All right, we're going to wrap this one up. You guys be good. Peace. Peace.